beautiful friends, it's me, Stormy, and here is our horoscope for the week of December 3rd, where this week we've got just such a beautiful union of Mars energy and Neptune energy over there in Pisces, bringing, of course, a level of delusion to the table that is absolutely mind-blowing, but also bringing energy to the table that is so magnetic, so positive. It's just really lovely. Plus, we've got a new moon this week, all kinds of good stuff. So let's jump in and talk about it, okay? Now, first things first, at the beginning of the week, we've got the Sun and Neptune in a square, and this is happening Wednesday, December 5th. So what I want you to keep in mind with this energy is that the Sun and Neptune together, especially in a square energy, really kind of can make your, your essence feel like it's a little bit low right? It's, a, it's an energy that has traditionally been known for weakening or kind of not being so great for the immune system um, or energetic systems. But what it is a good energy for is giving yourself a break, right? If you need a break, you need some downtime, you need to do things in a slower fashion, a maybe more restful fashion. It is great for achieving a little bit of um, mental serenity, right? So it's a wonderful energy for those kinds of things. You may uh, want to keep up with your dream journal, right? Because this is very good for dreams as well. But ultimately, it's an energy that's not push. There's not a whole bunch of push and shove in this particular square, okay? Now, we've also got communication getting back online. How amazing is that? We will have Mercury coming out of retrograde, coming direct here just on December 6th. Now, keep this in mind. Even though Mercury is coming direct in the sign of Scorpio, he's just coming direct. We still have another shadow time to make it through. Plus, Okay, December 6th arrives, Mercury's direct. It does not mean he's ready to get into the game, right? He's got to have his cosmic coffee or his matcha or whatever he drinks to get his life together, stretch, and then resume his orbit. So while communication, thinking, decision-making, all of these things kind of come back online, you can sign those contracts, you can make major decisions. Give Mercury a little bit of time if you want the very best of him waking up, I think, okay? We've also got a new moon happening this week in Sagittarius. That's going to be on the 7th. And I really do like the new moon because, first of all, we plant our seeds of intention here, right? These are our seeds of intention to begin new things, to move some things forward. So with this new moon, what you can consider is being optimistic, being expansive, being adventurous, like the energy of Sagittarius this week. Um, it's a great energy, I think, because it's the start new things energy to realize, just like the archer, sometimes you've had to be pulled way back so that that arrow can fling forward, right? So that may be an energy of what you're doing here. Where is something maybe under tension or under attack in your life or feels like it's under stress and not moving forward and keep with it? Maybe you just need to pull it back so that it can launch forward, right? So I think it's a wonderful energy to work with there. Now, we have got um, Mars and Neptune, like I said, in a conjunction that's also happening here on the 7th. I really do like this energy. I just think it, it's charming. Um, it's magnetic. Mars is not necessarily comfortable in the sign of Pisces, but he is trying to take some spiritual moves here, spiritual action, compassion, um, creativity. There's a fair amount of faith happening here. It is a wonderful energy for charitable things, charitable work. Um, if you volunteer anywhere or picking up a shift, you know, maybe you're, I don't know, pay, uh, handing out food to the poor during the holidays or something like that. Or maybe you're attending a charity because you've had some financial hardships this year. Whatever it is, it's a wonderful supportive energy. Now on the negative side of it though, you do want to be mindful. If you have addictions, this is an energy that can put those in overdrive, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like you're not necessarily trying, even if you've been, let's just say you've been sober for 30 years and all of a sudden you're like, why do I feel like I'm a little bit out of sorts? This could definitely be that kind of, of um, energy. And if this energy is happening in a relationship house for you, you do want to be mindful because it can attract you to more dishonest things. Okay, so kind of keep that in mind this week, depending on where these things are happening in your chart. But I hope you have an absolutely beautiful and delicious week. And let's just celebrate the fact that Mercury is going to be out of retrograde so we can get moving forward, thinking forward, and just kind of move on with it, right? All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next week.